Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Is there a possible cause for such a mess? Hey, disclaimer. These laws are not based on logic or empirical evidence. They are instead based on the irony of perceived experience. Whatever that means. Like maybe if you're camping in one of the wild places and you hear hoofbeats in the dark, you might think of being trampled by horses and not zebras. Well, unless you're out in the African savanna. But no matter. Either way, the results are the same. You're still trampled. Well, all this sounds a bit nonsensical, as are these laws. So let's get to it. All right, the law of gravity suspension. A principle of classic camera repair is that all the parts dropped that are smaller than a tractor tire instantly look like the part you dropped yesterday, but never found. The law of gravity suspension causes a part to delay its fall until you have given up looking for it. Getting down on your hands and knees and crawling around in a state of casual assertiveness only delays the completion of the gravity suspension. It is futile to immediately perform said task, as the only chance of recovery is to wait until another day when the part might show up in a place far removed from the original incident. This law was inadvertently and accidentally discovered by Newton when the fig that fell on his head was nowhere to be found at lunchtime. The second law of camera dynamics states that a camera comes apart far more easily than expected, except when it should, with mechanisms containing far more parts than ever imagined stubbornly held in place by frozen screws and retainers, which upon final release allows this mechanism to leap spontaneously into a mass of entanglement that was never thought possible by the designer of the said mechanism. The second law of camera dynamics, also known as blankety blank 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 dynamics, insists that the mechanical universe of a vintage camera tends to disorder with a devilish single-mindedness when its gears, levers, springs are released from their constraints. This law was unexpectedly discovered when early camera designers needed to repair their own creation. Well, that's all folks. Until next time.